Hey everyone, it's Jay, founder of Matters of My Heart, and um, I was sitting here writing and um, texting my sister, and my last statement to her was, I believe God, that is all. And so when that came out of my mouth, out of my mind, into a text form, I, I paused. And I grabbed my phone and now I'm recording this video because I really want to, I want to expound on that statement. I believe God. Now, it's easy to say when we are in a place of peace that we believe God, um, that he is a miracle worker that he is a healer that he um, he can fix any broken thing that he can turn any situation around and what was meant for my bad God turned that thing around and made it for my good and when we're in peace oh my god those words flow and it's easy to praise God and it's easy to bless his name and it's easy to give him glory, glory, hallelujah and to give him his props when we're at peace. But when we are at war, let me explain what war is. The, the type of war I'm talking about is when you get an eviction notice on your door when the car people come and repossess your car but you still have to go to work you still have children um, that you have to take care of when you get a pink slip on your job that type of war when you don't know when where your next meal is going to come from yeah when you are so down and in despair and you can't see a way out because everything that could go wrong went wrong. When your business dries up, when your finances fry, uh, dries up, when your bank account is in the negative, and I'm not talking about $20 negative. I'm talking about $400, $600, $800 in the negative. When you have bill collectors calling you every 10 minutes. You know, because they put you in this automated thing where your number is dialed regularly until they get their money. Yeah, I'm talking about war. I'm talking about internal war when your mind says maybe God told you maybe that really wasn't God who told you to start that business maybe just maybe that you're the reason why your husband stepped down on your marriage not once but twice not twice but three times not three times but the entire time you were married I'm talking about that kind of war where you just don't know what the hell to do. Can you praise God then? Can you say, I know that I know that I know that I know God is going to work this thing out if I just wait on him? Can you say that I believe God? I know they just came and took my car. I believe God. I know that the, the sheriff just came and put all of my furniture and all of my belongings out on the curb. But I believe God. I know that this pain in my heart is going to be healed. Because I believe God. I believe God has a message in this mess. I believe God.
Can you say that? I find myself looking at the temporal things because that's what the Bible calls them. Things that I see with my natural eye are temporary. That's what the Bible says. They're temporary. So when I begin to look at those things and those situations that are temporary, I have to continuously remind myself. Sometimes my mind forgets. My heart doesn't, but sometimes my mind forgets. I believe God. And when I begin to speak, because there's power in my words, there's power and authority in my thoughts, in my opinion, in, in, in my heart, in my spirit. When I begin to speak to that situation, I was listening to a periscope last night. I digress a little bit, but I'm going to I'm going to bring it back. Stick with me for a minute. I was listening to a periscope last night and. The young lady was coming from the book of Ezekiel 37 and she was talking about um, Ezekiel being placed, Ezekiel's vision that he was placed in a valley of dry bones and God instructed him to speak and to prophesy over the dry bones. Can I tell you, can, can I confess a little bit? I grew up in church. But I haven't always been in the church. But I, I was raised. My foundation is God's word. And so, though I find myself straying to the left and straying to the right and straying any, any way that I can stray. When the word of God is spoken, it is quickened. There's there's a there's a resonation there. There's there's a there's a connection in my soul that connects with the word of God. And so I I listen, I pause, I take heed, and something about the word of God that just brings me to life. So I digress. Anyway, so she was, you know, coming from the book of, of Ezekiel 37 and she was talking about prophesying and how we have the authority in God to prophesy over our situation. How God waits for us to just come to him who is our source, who is our resource. Who is our everything? Everything that we need is in God. And so when we find ourselves in this place of depletion. When we find ourselves in depression. When we find ourselves angry and so angry at people that we want to snap their. There is a key. That unlocks our power so that we're not defeated. That key is the word of God, but more importantly, that key is faith wrapped up in our words. Because once we begin to speak, once we begin to speak the word of God, things has to change. The reason why it has to change is because the word cannot go out and return void. Again, that's in the scriptures too. So there's something to the word of God that changes our mindset, that changes our situation, that changes our faith, that changes our heart, that changes everything around us. It's something about the word of God. But unless it is spoken, faith without works is dead. Unless the word of God is spoken, it remains, our situation remains the same. So when I said to my sister today, 
I know you've been going through some things. I believe God. That is all. That thing quickened in me and, and, and it brought me back to my first love, which is matters of my heart. I believe God. And so I will continue to confess with my mouth, believe in my heart, that I believe God. And so every situation in my life that is dried up, that is depleted, that is hungry, I believe God is going to change it. I believe God is going to bring those broken pieces together. I believe God is going to refill every area in my life where I am depleted. That's all I wanted to share. I encourage you. I encourage you to do the same. It's, it's, it's okay to say, I have faith. But now we need to put action to that faith. And by action, I'm saying start speaking into your life the things that you want. The things that you desire of God. The things that you desire in your life. Your dreams, your ambitions, your goals, your talents, your gifts. All of these things. Start speaking over them. And watch God manifests that thing. Watch him demonstrate his word in your life. Till next time, hashtag the words by Jay. Love you.